weight of salted fruits. Why am I hungry now? I see. <laughs> um, the fruit is not going to be very reminiscent of what you guys are used to in um, Sephira and such. Because these are more wild variants, so the fruit will be a lot smaller and they will be a lot more wrinkly looking than normal, but they will have a higher nutrient comp like oh fuck <laughs> I... right there. yeah no I spilled my drink oh. <laughs> but essentially they are healthier for you to some degree well based on ratio So yeah, that are you happy with what you got, Kane? Is this what you wanted? <laughs> the food supplies, yeah, that's decently well, but medical on the other hand. <laughs> what were you expecting? <laughs> eh. 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 <laughs> were you expecting health potions? I I have started oh. by the way. Oh, you, you started uh, streaming? Yeah. Alright. Keep that in mind, everyone, then. That is so is indeed streaming now. Also, in regard to health potions, uh, one of the party members have indeed seen potions in the cellars of the surf house because they found an alchemist table. They just didn't decide to touch any of it, which is a good call, honestly. <laughs> Isla. <laughs> yep, Isla came across it. They weren't interested. It didn't smell like food. Okay, so I just got my call for food, speaking of. Um, Alright, you got you your like call for to food. Join in when I get back? Yeah, just join in when you come back. Gotcha, I'll be here. We're still waiting for more people to show up. <sighs> Soul? Yeah. Maniac? Uh, Alistair, if you guys want to head in, you guys can do that. The weather is going to be pretty much the same it always is. A mild overcast, the temperature is... No, it's not too warm. It's not too warm, because there's no sun directly shining down upon you. So you're not going to end up with a sunburn or anything, but it's kind of hot. Alright. I want to, uh, Grand, I want to talk to you real quick, or whenever you have time, mm -hmm. about something for, oh. like, the future. Okay. I, I assume you want me to head in. I will yeah. drag yeah. you in a minute, then. Is there any questions from the people who are heading in as player characters? Uh, just enter the in-character uh, voice chat when you're heading in, and then I'll take care of Ross and Alistair here in a moment. Hello. Uh, oh, uh, 
to see you redecorated. Uh, not really redecorated, more just keeping all of this outside for temporary until I decide what to do with it. Well, it looks nice. I might keep some of it and keep the furniture and, and such outside, maybe. Maybe have it just like a resting place. Possibly. Oh, I've been I. Oh, I'm doing good. No. You, what about you? Mainly. Just <sighs> trying to keep this place on track. I understand. I heard that you guys plugged up the hole. We did, it was. We actually had some of the... I believe the Mason Master who came over and plugged up the hole. Well, that's good. Is I believe it is packed with... Uh, bricks and some dirt behind it, so it should hold for a little bit at least. How about the waterfall? We don't think there is a hole. We aren't sure at least. We haven't found the entrance at least on the waterfall side. Idea, but we have found sometimes the waterfall is essentially a waste dump for magic. Ooh. And we or essentially saying just stay away from there for now. Because it seems to be its own ecosystem. It will take care of itself. Well, that's good at least. <sighs> now... For the tree, I honestly still don't know much about the tree. Oh, you got a cage too. Ah, uh, that, that's. It's honestly very concerning, but. It seems that the prior owner of this estate had this cage, and now it belongs to me, I can go some. What the hell? Hello again. I'm assuming it's the prior owners. And it just appeared here? Yes. You didn't see anyone come in and place that? Really? We think it did it itself. You think the cage got up and moved itself here? Yes. We think it may be a... either magical or a construct of some sort. We honestly don't know yet. 
never heard of a walking cage before, but like I've known, I know of numerous new things nowadays. Well, if you'll see, and we'll just place his hand up against the bar and just say, "Oh, just go straight through it easily." It'll allow me to touch, well, go through it. Any of you can't. She touches it. Really? It would just stay solid. Oh. I can't get through. <laughs> You're saying if I place my hand on this, it will not go through. Yes. Stay solid. I don't like this thing. It's effective. <laughs> but what? It's a cage. <laughs> well, cages have caging purposes, no? It has a bowl. It has a bucket. It's sort of... I don't even know what the hell that is. I think it's called cloth. The civilians around here, at least the uh, Master Hunter always, well, said that the prior owner, there were rumors that he was a sorcerer of some sort. Master Hunter. Yes, I don't know if you met him. He is essentially the town's hunter, essentially. Right. They told you nothing about this cage. He, he assumes it might have been something that the prior owner had. And he said a lot that the prior owner did have a lot of very strange guests that the owner said to never tell anyone about said guess. Either way, last time I was here, I left left early after I plugged the hell the hole. Did I miss anything? Um, we got a proper mason to plug up the hole with brick and a couple of feet of dirt behind it so it should hold um what else we figured out that the waterfall here is essentially a I don't know the words proper words for it but magical ecosystem magical waste essentially oh. magical waste reservoir yes so it is not safe to drink at all or to even touch I would not recommend it Should you not do something about that, then? We've learned that it is self-sustaining, in a way. It will just take care of itself. There might be periods where it gets really bad, but after a bit, it will take care of itself. What do you mean, get really bad? In what sense? Yesterday and later into the night, we saw lights and such glowing within the water, crystals. Crystals? So there are just crystals in the water? 
There's crystals and... I'm honestly not sure. They might have to talk to more about it whenever he decides to come here. He's the one that basically came to that conclusion. Is it just us three? For now, I believe us. Still recommend once everyone gets here to discuss the upcoming tournament. If everyone does get here, depending on the amount of people. Hello, uh, Natasha. Tasha! Are you doing well? Hug. Oh. Ah. Oh. <laughs> I know. How are you doing? Yeah, stay away from that cage and stay away from the water. Well. You should be fine. Eh, uh, don't, don't worry about it. I know about the cage and... I'll avoid the water? The last time I went in there was fine, but yeah, I know about it too. Yes, the cage doesn't want to wander either. Good. Mm. Good day to everybody. And... Hello. I believe that the water is acting the same as well. Somewhat. Acting the same as it was last night. Like, you you know, below, eh? or... as in like, you know, react stuff, I guess. I'm not seeing that occurring as of now, but perhaps as the mm. day progresses, I would. Maybe. The more I listen to you, I, uh, would you put into words of what exactly you think the waterfall is, Ian? Since most of us are here. Oh, well, hello. I guess I can give you an explanation on my theory. Mm -hmm. Oh, hey. Right, hello. Hello. Hello, everybody. Put your arm away. Okay. Rising superiority. Hmm. But you, you said you wanted an explanation, yes? Yeah, since everyone is here. Well, from my rough estimate, and... I'm not exactly all-knowing, and as such, things that I do state on magical manners and the other such be taken with a grain of salt. However, there appear to be a grouping of crystals underneath some, how does one say, rocks. Very round rocks. In the pond over yonder. These rocks seem to have interactions with the water during certain times, causing these very minute explosions of magical energy. Which appear to affect our undead friend here in a relatively positive light, meaning to all of us of the more flesh- Blood and bone variety, mainly living. It is a little bit of a danger. To him, it is a boot. Hmm. That is my current knowledge on it. I don't exactly know what's causing it, as I'm no wizard or sorcerer, but I can tell you that is about what I know for the time. Right. I can also tell you that that is most likely the reason as to why the water does not leave that area despite the small pool and lack of stream. It's probably because it's being consumed in these explosions repeatedly over and over again, preventing an overflow from occurring. <laughs> Once again, a rough estimate, but the best that I can give you as of now. Unless I have a way what of educating kind of myself place on the they give I you. can't exactly do too much. Uh, I mean, that's a Feywild for you, I guess. Well, between that, the tunnels in the basement, the strange tree, and now a disappearing crystal in your courtyard, I think you found yourself a oh, proper what? magical elite in Clonite and Matter. And yes, the crystal, from last time that we spoke, is no longer there. It's returned to stone once more. There is a crystal? There was a crystal. Apparently. It amazes me that you the hell did I miss? Things. Well, all I did was pull out the damn hole left. Uh, yes, I, I noticed. Indeed, I did. In any case, 
not too much has occurred since your time of leaving, outside of the fact that the eyes of the tree have started glowing during certain times of the day. The pond has randomly decided to spark up with magical energy at random intervals. Additionally, a crystal has seemingly formulated and disappeared in Sir Pierce's courtyard on the statue where it's holding its shield. And, well, I... Am I missing? Oh, and the cage. Yes, the cage walked here. Or dragged itself. One or the other. Wait, you witnessed it walk itself? No, we have a letter. What, oh. what about that did you not understand from the last time we were here? We, we had this conversation. Wait. Wait, no, you were here. That's right. I wasn't here last Hold time. It. Yes, yeah, apparently there was an amalgamated mass of metal, according to the smithy, in the basement of the serf's house. It changed, contorted, into this more fine shape, dragged itself upstairs, and made on its way around the manor. Placing itself quite fondly right here. In the one space that we could have literally put anything, which is not a cage. Apparently so. Which, admittedly enough, I'd rather it there than in the middle of the path, so I'll take it. I will also note that this cage appears to have some magical properties to it. I'm assuming it's associated with the owner of the land, but Sir Pierce here can actually reach through it as if it's not there. But unless you're touching him, you and I, and none of us aside from him, seem to be able to. So, needless to say, this, this place is goddamn cursed. I don't know if that's just the right word, so much as, um... I think it's beautiful. Maybe state. Tint. I will note that Are you saying it because the it's the Fey Wilds? This place yes. must have been the center of some kind. And no. Is this... We, we don't even know for sure yet. We haven't confirmed anything that this is the Fey Wilds. I'm honestly not sure. We've not done any research. Given the fact that we've seen random spirits walking around, additionally this is some form of other plane from our current understanding, and there's a gigantic sentient tree right up the hillside. I think we can make some assumptions there, yes. Hmm. Also and the time. Looks like a moon. It's not a sun. It's kinda weird. Yes. Which is also yeah. strange. Yeah, the time also works differently here. Right, indeed. In the wind, the temperature, the waning and waxing of the clouds, content. everything. And the Very fact true. that there's dire wolves native here. But yes, which is not exactly a normality on the material I still plane. I haven't seen those things yet. I feel like the eye of that. one. That's okay. It was, was it. it was day one when I saw them. They killed. <laughs> what are the. They killed a river. What are the Feywilds most known for? That we have yet to see. Being absolutely oh. terrifying. Yes, it's actually known for its what I've seen. more chaotic nature. It's not a matter of what you will and will not see, it's a matter of how things around you will morph and shape in strange, odd, bizarre ways. It's not for the faint of heart, to say the very. Hmm. Frankly, I. Simultaneously feeling blessed and cursed that such a place would be my point of arrival, considering I lived in quite the other ravaged forest back in the day, just to find myself in another. Not exactly what I wanted. But, you will make do, I suppose. In any case, Sir Pierce, yes, what is on the agenda today? Mm. We can have a rambling rouse and round of training. We're going to move some more things from the surf's house, maybe investigate those spiders. Something of a make. I recommend investigating the spiders would be a good idea. Uh, do we really need to investigate them? Well, not really. I think we're going to have to order of the house. Mm. I suggest probably around the train and most of you off today since we have not even started on that yet. Mostly. Maybe just, Probably not. <laughs> Maybe just one on one spawns with everyone. Everyone that is at least willing to 
Bar. Actually, uh, well, it's he also worth noting that appears a range of um <clears throat> specialties aren't exactly standard or par for the course for one another. I don't exactly think it's fair to pit a pyromancer against a martial fighter at close range as well. You might burn me alive, but my metal gauntlet is already engraving itself into your forehead by the time I'm stopping. So, not exactly a fair fight. I'll try Additionally, the same can be argued for some of the other ones physique-wise, as, with all due respect, you are indeed half the size of the gigantic dragon woman over there. And I mean that literally. Uh, he is right. So, I mean, kind of. Not wrong, but also that's not everything. But I'm I'm not sure if yeah myself against Tasha would be a very wise decision. I think it would be well, very which is one precisely my point. Even with my man, I'm just implying that maybe training amongst one another is not the best idea, especially when we still have tasks at hand on the estate. Right. Perhaps maybe investigating further could help us hone our skills for the tourney rather than just merely wasting mm. our time fighting one another in a practice stance. Right. Given that we have giant true. spiders roving the about, kind of strange is... tree, the woodland creatures, some of which we promised to assist in the murdering of, I truly feel as though our priorities are already spent in terms of what we need to accomplish. I don't think training is the best idea. If you would like my honest opinion, sir. Yes. Alright, of course, it is by your right to overrule such statements, as you are the owner of the house. I am merely the one attempting to assert in its well keeping. Do any of you feel confident in tracking down wolves? At least tracking. I don't know about tracking things, but taking care of them is probably up my alley. As I Prior did knows, I did live alone in the woods for quite some time. Tracking beasts and hunting game is not exactly a specialty of mine, but it is a skill I have. I'm willing to help in this if I must. I mean, didn't the hunt master offer to guide us? Track them them? down, yes. Which means that theoretically we should be notified by them when they are ready to move. Mm. I don't believe that is our responsibility to uphold the tracking of them so much as it is the man who you avoid. We do still have issues on at this site. So once again, the spiders, the tree, the weird statue. And perhaps, who knows, maybe we can close up the excess tunnel systems behind that added wall. Considering we still know that there are more around the estate. We just don't know where, as of now. See if we can find any more of these underground holes. And if there is, see where they lead, possibly, but if they go too deep, then we'll just simply plug it. Which is entirely fair. Uh-huh. I'm raving something, was it? Yeah. yeah. Do you need to breathe? We can find out. I would like you Preferably to investigate beforehand? them all for me. But, yeah. I... Is it... <laughs> He's an undead. He should for be. Him, the water for him is good, apparently. Wait, As was Fire I... noted, it seems to be some kind of strange energy that you can have too while it's much in... effect on you right now, because there's not the lightning stuff at the moment that was there that okay. day. So, as of my current knowledge, I should say, that man when Cain the just crystals told me his are magical laced. waste. Uh, yes, he, he. magical waste, wasting similarly to that of an undead, emitting an energy mm. of negative nature, that counterintuitive to living form such as you and I. Oh, yes. I guess not. No, mm. unfortunate. Nothing, huh? Well. If you at least got a look around, then it could give us some bearing on a potential opening in the future. So, with luck, maybe we just need to scout the area, scour it for some kind of clue, and then move on after the fact. Mm. 
There are still more that we can investigate about this estate. I don't know how thoroughly you've looked over it, so Sir Pierce, but it could be worth looking around a little bit harder, just for sake of uh, confirming the location of any unwanted entrances and exits. I gotta ask, what does he not being able to, not needing to breathe under there? Exactly. Oh, I was I was going to ask you to investigate the rocks on the floor to see if there was any foot gap in which you would be able to squeeze through. Since you do not need to breathe, I, try. I assume I can that move. theoretically. Oh yes, please do. Oh, that that's what I said you were going to do. But yes, please do. Mm -hmm. My apologies. I thought you just wanted me to test it. Yes. No. Entirely all right. You proceed. <sighs> it's not like we can enter the rat side anyway. Yes, indeed. We can't. He may. Maybe. Alone. Alone, well, yes. Well, at least find the entrance. If there is one. If the entrance is identified, then it gives us the p possibility and potentiality for us finding an alternative entrance in the general proximity of this area. Without us having any other knowledge outside of the fact that it connects to a now sealed hole in the floor, or rather the wall of the surf's basement. We're a little lacking on leads in that regard right now, are we not? Have you checked for any hollow walls or hollow floors inside your own estate? That could be a good idea. Actually, Though I don't think I, busting down ask... walls is a great idea. Oh, it doesn't go underground. It's not really odd, but I don't know if anybody's looked at it yet. Um, where does the waterfall c come from? Like, where does it... Oh, I believe Isla investigated that. They didn't note anything of abnormality, but knowing Isla, the idiot that she is, she may not have mentioned anything. I That's believe, like I believe out, it goes upstream. Yeah, but, like, at, a, where? at a raised it's area, that may actually be worth checking out. Though, I don't exactly think I have the climbing uh, to immediately run up there. I would not I recommend would... you going up anywhere high, because the civilians are still... Kinda on alert of seeing a red dragon flying in the air. Alright. Which, to be fair, is about a bit sad. It is a If you would like There's me to attempt something to quite strange, I could attempt to shift walk up there, but I kind of doubt that I'll be able to do as much. Given the fact that I've never tried it up a vertical surface. <laughs> Alright. We've got Welcome some moves. Yep. Let me fix my slow eyes. Hold on. <clears throat> All right. So practically, there are there are also small cracks within the rocks down there. Not anything small. that someone of our size would be able to get through. But yeah. if necessary, I can turn myself into a sort of gas and try to make my way through it. See. Well, if we lack if any other alternatives, be a good idea, at least. oh yes, as a last resort for the time being, as you traveling alone, scouting mm -hmm. through an area by yourself. Not that I doubt your capabilities, but I would like to keep things as safe as possible. Sir Pierce, yeah, do you have any course. notable alternatives to such a scouting method, or would you like to perhaps survey the perimeter, keep an eye on the already existing quote-unquote threats, and keep about the end of practice before? Heading onward with a relatively eccentric approach, scouting. I say we just look around the estate for today, since Raven is not even a part of the team yet. Well, that's and you're still recovering from your wounds, aren't you? Yes. No, not really. Not really. Interesting. Excellent to hear. Yes. We were kind of feeling the last time we had double the... Yeah, that helped a lot. Ah, the... Yes. The water. I, I would imagine as much. <laughs> On the topic, uh, Sir Pius, I do recall us ordering extra medical supplies. Would you mind going over them with me, since I believe I'm the only medically trained personnel on site? Uh... And that great follow me to the... Surf House. Yeah. As for the rest of you, you already heard. Survey the area, look for any excess entrances or any other kind of obscenities that would be, need to be of note. 
Additionally, keep your eyes on the tree, survey the area around the pond, and potentially check in in the courthouse. You all have your orders. Treat them well. Alright. Wonderful. Mm -hmm. I can't look around over there somewhere. Uh, what? That's a serious thing. Who tells me it's a flowing thing? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we've already established that it's a life, sir. The fact that the glowing bit. Yeah. I'm just checking if there's anything new that is You never know. Fair enough. Was there like spewing out spores before? Uh, I wouldn't say really spewing out, but yes. Also, it, it got hotter last time, but I don't think it's gonna happen now. I, I think remember it's that. Again. Yeah. Gotta check the other side just in case. Sorry. No worries. Looking for a hose, looking for a hose, looking for a hose to the case. I should probably turn off the little phone. You know, I will also note, it's strange for them to be using barrels of all things. For transporting grain. Much as I'd like to keep the music in my DMC. DMCA. Sax. Mm. What have you? Huh? Holes, holes, looking for holes. <laughs> but. Yes, typically you see them in some oh. kind of. Oh, they even have the old classic butter trainers. That's nuts. Man, this place is incredibly old school. They have the stranger kind of old pressure furnaces that are inbuilt with tables. Huh, this place really does remind me of home. Except it's a lot brighter. Mm. Kind of hard to the eye. Long 
from once you are done with that. Alright, I have a weird feeling. I'm just gonna check it. What are you oh, checking? I'm gonna check behind the waterfall, make sure it is not. I, if it wasn't like covered or something, or if it's like a secret package or something, or whatever the fuck. Remove boots. If you crack a hole in it, you may disrupt the. I'm not gonna crack anything. Magical flow. I don't recommend being in the water. I don't recommend being in there without your shoes. Your shoes were like the okay. Well. Well, they're metal. She doesn't want to, like, break the ground even more. No, it's a lot better for her to have the shoes on, considering, from what we were told, this is not good for people who are flesh and bone. There you go. It tickles a lot. Oh, speckles. I want to check if there's any sort of opening kind of thing around the rock somewhere. Like, if I can the rock I'm like, what is happening in here? Checking to see if are you not, still... Like, I don't know, so you find more <laughs> that things have been changing here, but you don't see any openings. Can I look at them a little bit more? Like a howl. Like, can I tell or not really? When I said scout, I didn't mean to literally dive into the water. It's fine. It's I fine. Told them not to. Put on our boots. I was just double checking something, and something I did see something. Not exactly what I was looking for, but what did you clearly see? something okay. changed behind away the water? Away from the water. Though. Away from the water first. Oh yeah, what about me? Or anything away from the water. It just tickled a little bit. No, it's it's fine. I understand that it just tickled. Just. Caution is best used when something is not fully understood, which I believe you're already aware. Uh, right. Sepius, I can have that bag. I, I can carry it. It's not right for you to be doing as much. And he's gonna take the medical bag oh, out of your hand. Tickle. So, before I critique you for your actions, what did you see? Uh, I s there was clearly something that changed behind the waterfall. I don't know exactly what it is, but it's it wasn't the way it is now before. Basically. Something Gosh, you sound insane. Changed. What do you mean? <sighs> it's complicated to explain. Okay, well, perhaps I'll give it a look in the moment. I need to have a conversation with Sir Pierce and his manor and drop all supplies first. Now, I would prefer for all of you to I'm assuming stand that I can away get a better look. Water. Would you like for me yes, to go check? Like to, yes, you, you are entirely fine to do You can have a look. The water does not affect you in the same way that it does others. Mm -hmm. However, I would prefer very right. much so for you to yeah, either continue sure. scouting or make entirely sure that he is not harmed by the. In any case, that'd be. I'll have a look. Maybe. Mm. Well, I've checked Some the entire wall me. and around the tree. Mm. Right. I checked a bit the statue. It seems. Hello. So this medical equipment is it just for the state? Well, you can see, like, marks there and there. The issue is you're standing under a waterfall and water sprinkling everywhere. You can just see marks that... You can occasionally see claw marks at the most you would be able to surmise it to be, but you don't know what it actually because you're standing oh, under a water. Fuck. Some, sort of, some sort of claw mark or something like that. I can't really see considering the water, but... Seems like a bunch of claw marks to me. I mean, I'd offer my assistance, but Mori is insisting that I not go in there. 
if you'd like, I can try to draw one out. Maybe get some sort of different language. I don't know. It looked weird. Draw? Is it like a drawing? Hold on. Uh, it honestly. seems just like claw marks. Mm. But if you'd like, I can try to when, draw. I have, I, I have a phone. Because I have an I have idea. A but no, don't, don't bring a phone. Don't bring your phone. Oh my god, it better be waterproof. That's a thing? Yes, there are waterproof phones. Yes. I, I didn't know. Because hmm. yeah. what I would offering, because I, I mean, if you're having uh, issues seeing, I can literally just open up my wings and try to cover some It's fine. Water. Don't worry about it. it. But... Alright then. I got the pictures. If you took the pictures. There should be. I'm here. A lot better for you to. Alright. He had, he took a picture on his phone of the claw marks. You, no, your your phone isn't gonna be able to focus on the level waterfall. <laughs> I figured Look. Here. Oh. It, wow. it, no, yeah, that's what I mean. Yeah. Right. Okay. Well so Fair enough. we'll wait for the others and then I'll bring up the proposition of covering the waterfall with my wings so they can actually see better. How about that? Not a good idea. Again. No? We do, we do not understand what this is, remember? And just because you've stepped into it a couple of times and it hasn't done anything yet, does not mean it's not going to do anything at all. Yeah, but if you... Could be some sort of overtime thing, we don't know. Has, has any more bubbles popped since? Bubbles? What? Well... well... When I went in there the first time, bubbles were popping. Well, one bubble popped near me, and it oh. really hurt my ears. Did it? it did, no. Under it might be waterfall? actually. You know what? No, I just it might be water. because you're from the Feywild. Is that a thing? Maybe. I don't know. No. Hmm. I mean, if you if you're from the Fey. From the Feywild, would you not be able to go under there? Yeah, but then it's the same issue. It's, it's a waterfall. It doesn't matter if it's magical okay. or not, it's a waterfall. <laughs> Which is why I was saying it cover someone, or at least find something to cover the waterfall so you can go under it. I don't fucking know. I think I. We'll figure it out. Wooden plank and just Some sort of, put yeah, it there. And, uh, wooden try to plank, put... see when that was up there. Yeah, okay. Because my mind says if there's something that you don't know, the only way to find, find, find out what it is is trying things out. Hey, I'll make sure to put that like... on your gravestone when uh -huh. you die doing something crazy. Uh, trust me, I've done the worst. You, you, you've been through worse than dying? Right, I guess I died. Never mind, it was worse. <laughs> Coming back. Uh... <laughs> That's not what you want I meant. More so of I was worsing than going into a weird... magically wasted water thing. I guess. Just because there's worse things as it is, not dangerous. <sighs> I get what you're saying, though. Just look around in general, I guess. Just see if you can find any sort of interest somewhere or whatever. Nothing at all, okay. 
Well, nothing except for the fact that you're gonna feel something weird coming up behind you, but that's about it. Always forget. I always forget. Okay. Ah, well. Hello. I can confirm, sir, Piers. Why are we looking like this? This, this that applied to the crystals before. Nothing has changed. It doesn't appear magical in any shape, way, or form, from what I can discern. But that is okay. Can you hold it? Are we just gonna take it out then? Just burn it? I would recommend holding on to it just in case there is something that we, as lesser magic casters, cannot recognize. I believe burning it, just because we do not know what it does, is a foolish choice. And because I, I mean, it's not like it's easy to it. destroy magical things anyway. We will know if it's not. Now you state as much, but you'd be surprised. Physically, not all magic items are all that powerful, my friend. He's gonna pick up his medical bag. This room changed well, a lot. Surely you came in here with due purpose. Ah, uh, yeah, no, we did a bit of demolitioning. Okay. Yes, we moved quite a bit of things up. Mm -hmm. What else are we supposed to do? Looked into a waterfall. Couldn't find I mean, anything. Uh, Check the. Well, uh, he found claw marks, um, apparently. Claw marks. Behind the waterfall. Yeah. Apparently. Seems so. But he yeah. said it is not clear because, you know, yes. waterfall. Interesting. Well. With that My being the case, yeah. I don't believe the waterfall requires any further investigation for the time being. So if Pierce, How big were these business marks? here concluded, may I store these mm -hmm. medicinal items for the time being? Ask him, he's the one that's not in front of But he's the one that looked, man. With that How, being what? said, maybe How start deducing what you would like the rest of the team to do. If you need assistance in their planning and shape way of home, you, you will allow me to know. I will be back momentarily. What you... He also <laughs> had, you know, he also had an issue not not being able to see properly behind there, because, you know, water going everywhere. That's not really, from what I used to me, it wasn't super clear. I was offering to maybe bring something over there to try to cover some of the water so we can have a better look, but... Well, with all due respect, it is a waterfall. I don't exactly think don't putting something over it is going to work that well. I couldn't tell. Or under it, not over it. Different shapes and different angles. Perhaps make different shapes somebody a visor of some kind. Uh, if we mm -hmm. had that. I mean, that's what I was. I we was had, uh, offering myself, before. but you seem very insistent. I don't go in there. Yes, that's because fine. we don't entirely know what the water does, Ash. I, w I would prefer to know that much before sending you in there willy nilly. In any case, Seppi, has you deduced anything better. about our future actions? Actually, a moment before you do this much. Raven, mm. how does your vision work on a fundamental level? You have eyes, as I do. Well, they do. Yes. I have eyes. And I can see. Well, you stated that you can make your form gaseous, correct? Are the eyes the limitation mm. of where you can move? Are they physical items? Are they gaseous in nature? What? What's uh, wrong? When I move as the gas, it is the same as how I move, and my same speed when I'm as you see me right now. I do not oh, well, jump any higher. I'm not concerned about your speed, my friend. I'm concerned about the physicality of your eyes. I mean, I guess I can see a little better. It might be worth checking. When it comes to but before you do that, Seth places. here. Apologies for interrupting you, but did you have any kind of deduction on our future actions, or shall we proceed with this whole waterfall claw mark thing? Um. Hmm. Possibly proceed with the waterfall for now, since we don't really have any other easy uh, alternatives or any leads on. And it's on yes, that now, at least. I may go down to the lower courtyard to investigate the statue briefly, just to see if that crystal that was on the shield has fully disappeared. You know, the whole condition of the walking. That one. If you would all like to begin making your way to the waterfall, then I can meet all of you there. Alternatively, if you'd you like to it. investigate the tree, I believe that might be a connection point in between the tunnel system and the surf's basement, but I'm not entirely sure on that as of now. So, do as you I don't even know where to look with the tree, to be honest. No, I don't. Why do you think the waterfall is happening? 
Mm. Well, I imagine the norm around here. You're not even. You're not even hired. Uh, I've never had such fucking complication with a goddamn pond before. Jesus. <clears throat> Find anything new? It's a tree. It has leaves, it has branches. It has a trunk, it has roots. Doesn't look sentient to me. It's a tree. Well, from the, uh, the clues that we've gotten, it's been sentient. With the roots moving from the ground. And it uh, groaning into my ears. Are you sure that's not just wind? Wouldn't the wind go in? Not out? The wind goes in every direction. Yeah. And check around the tree again. I'm just gonna check in this hole. I wonder if there's a dairy. Well, we can find out. <laughs> Because I was thinking, I saw some, uh, like, a large plank upstairs or whatever. I could just give that to you and you could just, you know, put it under there to cover some of the water so you can live better. But I don't know if you'll be able to carry that or also probably the fact that all the water... It's a tree. I can't believe it. I can't hide for this shit. Watch. Hey, you alive? Nothing. Mm. See? It's a tree. Maybe it's just dormant. I'm literally hitting it. It's like any other tree. It's weird, yes. It, that, that, in its shape. I can check in Are the, okay? its mouth. What, you want? Well, let me just crawl in first in case there's something in there. I'm the one with armor. Can you go in to hold it? When going this close, you are going to notice that the color of green in the mouth is actually fading and growing over time. Fading in and out. Okay. Which is actually a visual effect on the tree, it's just apparently nobody notices it. I've noticed, I just... <laughs> it's a weird tree. But it's not alive. <laughs> well, if you think about it, all, all plants are alive. Let's not get into this discussion. I'm toggling the map to get darker in seven minutes. Either way, I think I'm about to... If I see nothing happen, I'm just going to leave. Can I see anything in there? Dark vision, maybe? 
that help at all? Maybe don't look in its mouth. It's apparently alive. You know, I feel like you wouldn't it's want someone. It's a tree. It's apparently alive. I just looked inside. Nothing happened. It's a goddamn tree. It's a living tree. It's a weird tree. tree. It's a living tree. I'm That's gonna right. kill so her words. All plants are alive. Well, I mean, yeah, but not all plants glow from their eyes and mouth. Do not. I think you're just crazy. I think everyone here is crazy. Why do I even believe any of this? Okay. I'm going to steal the words out of that. That girl right there. All plants are alive. He seems to think yeah. it's just a tree when it's obviously not. I mean, they're not wrong. Uh, Sanaa, with me for a moment, if you will. That PS carry on. I guess it is a weird ass tree. A moment, if you would. An observation for you to make, Sanaa. You're magically inclined. Yes. Yes. Well, if you would do me so slight a favor as investigating further upon the mouth, i.e., the maw of this tree, as well as these two Ooh. apparent eyes, what do you see? I saw it to Look be. Look hard. Look long. I've already noticed inside its mouth about the grass growing and fading. Yes, indeed. Additionally, I cannot speak for, well, the undead that was accompanying me prior. But I can state that I have been around the tree quite a bit. And I don't think I need to state with my complete and utter lack of eyes that I can feel a gaze upon me from a mile away. Part of my survival aid. But I gain for living in a place so hostile that it makes the place look like a joke. This thing, this creature, or dare I almost call it a person, something beyond that, held at these family on my back the moment that the undead took a leaf off. I so normally get a reaction out of it, I just take a leaf. I would not recommend such a thing, as that reaction will be ire. And I'm not sure if you've noticed the size disparity, nor the relative prowess with the magical capabilities comparatively to your own. I'm fairly certain that that would go terribly for you, the Nargs are. I am by no means your superior. I am an equal here, at least in my eyes. But if you are going to commit such interesting and eccentric act, perhaps do so under the supervision of the lord of the household, or an officer, should one pass by. Well, I'm just gonna... I think I'm just going to leave at this point. Goddamn, looking at a, a pond that never overfills this weird-ass yes, tree. I, it's needless to know... Maybe it's just, maybe it's just oddities. magic on the inside of its mouth. I somehow doubt that. For a variety of reasons. But, once again, if you can choose to be a skeptic, then I shall not pry you any further. But, my question for you is this. You are currently speaking to a creature that can fade into invisibility by just touching a shadow. Go to a realm where spectus, spectral creatures and magic exist actively in all directions. And fade into the floor and mud as if it were water. And you find a living tree that is sentient to be the absurd thing here. True. No, I find it absurd that we're taking an extended amount of time to research this. To research this. <laughs> so now. That's what I find ludicrous. Where are we currently located? At a cursed place. Indeed. 
presumably the Feywild, which is indeed a cursed place. I agree. A it place just, where nature this would have acted takes by hold now. on the very reality of every single bending strip of fabric that you can see in the air around. A place where if you insult nature, nature gets back at you twice as hard. A place where you should probably be walking all tongue about such absurdities in this place. Upon my request, of course. Maybe I wish to challenge it. Maybe I wish to see the consequences of it and actually have it happen to actually know. Fool you are. Truly. But. If this is the literal hill in which you want to die on, then I will not push you on the topic. Please, I insist, carry on. Just make sure I'm far away from any consequence that you, ill fated legally, from this. Your lack of caution like is similar to that of a child. Whatever god plot complex in which you walk upon, only you should quickly dismount before death finds its way to you. In translation, liven up and wisen up. So the world doesn't have to do it for you. Now, I'm going to go ahead. Stop. Ah, oh, I crashed. That's fine. I mean, the dynamic bones will get limited this time, since they get, got restarted. This was a test stream, after all. That's normal for me. I'll still load. And just now, it usually just says disconnected for some weird reason. I don't know how to fix that. Sweet, still loading. No disconnects here. Okay. See you going. Yeah. 
yeah, I'm pretty much going. Alright, goodbye. Goodbye. Thank you, I crashed. Please don't crash again. Tell me that it's just everything loading. Please. Or did it freeze and this is not going well at all? I'll give it a bit longer. I froze. Try it one more time. If it doesn't work, then I'm gonna have to stop streaming. I am having some minor chest pain still, and I'm a bit tired, so I'm gonna remain here for a bit longer. Uh, you guys are free to RP as long as you want to. I will be toggling it today. Uh, when I am leaving, so you guys know when I'm leaving, uh, but you guys are free to carry on as long as you want. Uh, it is an invite plus world, so if you guys need to, so if any one of you crashes and need to get back, just request on each other. That means I'm gonna request off someone else. Yeah, no, sorry, it appears to be invite only, but I can drop a portal or whatever, if you guys really need it. I disconnected this time. What a how weird. Now, please load it. Don't freeze. That would be appreciated. Let's look around till it stops lagging. I might turn lights and particles off too. Remove the text. Need a bucket. There we go. Um, it was just a little bolt um, in the middle of the forest, similar to this. 
but it was very lively during the night. Actually similar to what it is right now, but more. Then... What happened near my border over there? Something similar. Hmm. But... In short, we got into a situation where some of the fake creatures were somehow get into the place and we had to protect the townspeople eventually, essentially. And I was tired and injured. And so they put me into a little, a little building that was beside the inn. And my assumption is the whole building was, I believe, part of a, a giant tree, I feel. Just disillusion. It was something. That would be quite remarkable. Either that like or that they just. Hmm. But it was warm and caring. But... Uh, it definitely tried to help me. Well, I'm not to assume that you've been getting similar reading as I have it, but perhaps your experience has been different from my own. I don't feel too much of anything from truly. The first Outside day, of slight resistance, when I noticed it, the air, it was warm to the touch. I don't know if you oh. felt that. No, it's always been hard as storm, cold as the wind is warm. Not really anything it was at the end of that. <sighs> An oddity, truly. This tree in general is something that I wish I knew more about, especially now so, since it seems to be taking a liking to me in some way or another. I don't think my lodestone would be glowing at the same rate in which its mouth and eyes are, if that weren't the case. Though I'm not sure if that's a boon or benefit or some kind of curse. Not one to know. Mm. You know what? Uh, I should have done this the first day I came here and realized this, but... Since you've been doing this, I need to do this as well. Hope to at least get to know the tree a bit more. I will stay out here for us on that, probably. Ah, well. We can call it a trip, then. A camping trip, that is. As I have been staying out here every single night that I have stayed at yours. So I'm quite okay with coming out here as well, if you'd like to share the area. If you would like me to vacate, I can move over to the other encampment. Relatively easy. But... I will just sit down and just lay this back against like, the, the limb of the tree here. I'll be fine uh, right here. You're more than welcome to stay here if you want to. I see. Well, then I will do it. Archer. I still personally wish to know more about this thing. I believe that before, there's great wonders and those in which we cannot understand. Before you do that, I know most of us are here, but if any of you wish to leave, you can. Do that whenever you so please, but Mari, can you go find a uh, raven and tell him that, please? Of course. Raven! Ah, damn it, I have to walk. Hmm. 
opening up a window. Raven. Okay. Yeah. Damn it, you were too far away to hear my cry. I believe Sir Fears requires your audience. Oh, you heard it? Mm -hmm. well, that, why didn't you come? That's what I was doing. Mm -hmm. Ah. Well, either way, I'm Check probably gonna once. head out myself then. Ah, well, do enjoy the rest of your evening. Next place. You stay safe. Where are they? So, yeah. Oh, they're out by the tree over here. Alright. Which we're going to talk you to. There you go. Okay. <laughs> Alright, see you around then, right? Hi. Stay safe. Oh. Uh huh. I'll probably be <sighs> soon right. as well. Mm -hmm. Alright then. That was good. Night. Night. If you wait for any point, you are free to do so. It is getting late. Alright. We'll do. I have stuff to do anyways. Well, a good luck on your task. Mm -hmm. You as well. Stay safe. Mm. Yeah. I will note that I'm going to need to make a double check of the surroundings before resting, as last time that I did end up wanting to sleep out. I'm here. going to be heading out here in a little bit, so you so, guys have the choice if you guys want to keep around. going. If you do, I can drop a portal that is invite plus for the purposes of people being able to reconnect if they crash and such. Or if you guys are wrapping up, then I guess that's it. I'm pretty sure we're wrapping up, right? Or are we still doing shit? Uh, I'm not we're pretty much wrapping up. Yeah, I was about to see. Alright, you're wrapping up. Alright. So I think we're good. Yeah. yeah. Well, you guys have a nice day then. You too. Yep, hopefully your uh, chest gets better soon, man. Sorry to hear that it's bugging you. Yeah. Mm. Mm-hmm. Aye, aye, aye. Right. My fucking full body oh, died in session. Fuck, I forgot to charge my goddamn foot. <laughs> God damn it. I didn't get to go do my cool thing. God damn it. Wait, what? <laughs> I was gonna do a cool little stupid fucking dumb thing. Oh. Sounds yeah. pretty cool and stupid and dumb thing. Kinda crazy. Yeah, it's a bit of, it's a bit of all of those really, if I have to be honest. I, I will note, by the way, this is the first and only time that you will probably ever hear Mori yell at somebody. <laughs> Cause he, he was, he, he doesn't like walking at night anymore in this area because Mm -hmm. What happened last time he scouted? So he literally just walked up to the hillside here and just <laughs> rave up. Mm -hmm. He was in the house and he was like, "Oh boy." <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Are we finishing up the RP? Are you just staying, stopping it here? Yeah, I'm gonna RP slash no, do my bit. Not... All right, blah 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 blah. I'll see you guys later. <laughs> All right, I'm about to head out. <laughs> I <laughs> <laughs> will die because of my smoke. Fuck you all. <laughs> yeah, don't drop my frames any more than they already have. I might actually turn off your particles at some <laughs> yeah, point. No, Does that I'm, drop I'm your frames? Sure. Uh, I'm no, pretty mate, sure, uh, fucking session wise, I think we're good to go. I don't, I don't think Jeez. anything else is happening. Well, uh, I know more of the last thing that he's going to be doing. He is surveying the surroundings, so like, I'm just gonna have to talk to Grant about that, about what all is gonna happen. Uh, I recommend you all do the same if there's anything that you're doing in your downtime. Before Raven is just leaving. He's, he's just, yeah, he's I, just I leaving. Yeah, he would be, because he's got shit going on. I, I, mm -hmm. uh, I uh, offer to be... I had a, a dice, a, I had a dice roller. I offer to be a good. warm fire. Warm mm. fire, I mean, that, that would be appreciated, <laughs> well... Although I don't know if it would be appreciated near the tree. Like, I probably wouldn't yeah. back here or something, but, like, it's kind of I had a dice fire. roller for how much Raven cared today, oh. <laughs> and I just kept getting low rolls. So Raven just didn't give a shit about anything that was happening. <laughs> uh, yeah. Because I would roll constantly, and I'd be like, all right, do I have anything to say about this? Do I care? And I was like, nope, low roll. All right, I don't give a shit. <laughs> 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 he's just here to be here because he's he feels inclined to be here and just in case anything happens so he can help. I mean that's fair enough. Or he's just mm -hmm. fucking yelling.
Like the people did. <laughs> like, he is going from, yeah, okay, I noticed. I'm okay with this. <laughs> it's, this sucks, but it's okay. And to, I am now going to just yell at you guys until you do what I want you to do. And it's kind of working. Kind of. <laughs> You you may notice to 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 add to the fact that he doesn't care. Raven has not been saying sorry as much as he used to. Oh would, yeah, no. Anytime he would say me. something, any anytime anyone would like disagree with what he said or anything like that, he'd say sorry. He is just like okay, cool. <laughs> I, fair enough. Losing the shits to give. The more he spends his time here. Oh, I will. <coughs> Fuck. I will say, Maniac, I have some shit I need to DM you after this in terms of interactions that might happen during the nighttime, because there are a couple of potential mm. things that may occur. Mm. Mostly conversation <laughs> points, not too much else. Uh, we also need a... This will be... It would also be really great when your gram puts uploads this map to, like, community labs so we can actually use it in off time. Oh yeah, true. Yeah. Very true, true, very true. Uh, true? Uh, other, uh, uh, my stream went decently, uh, other than, uh, cause I got some, uh, assistance with figuring out how it was going. Other than, like, my in-game's frames still being as they are and the stream noticing it, uh, I think... And, like, other than my one crash, which is happening more often than not, regardless of me streaming. I don't know why it would be in this world, honestly. Like, is it just in general, or is it, like, in this world particularly? Oh, no, no, no. I, I have more frames when I'm not streaming. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I figured that What you much. could I'm, do, I'm what you could do is, like... uh, you could lower the, you could, like, lower the quality of just VR chat in general. Well, me... Which would like up, like heighten your frames, but you know, fucking make shit. I will say the thing with doing potato that is it mode. Only, like, applies to uh, like potato mode really only applies to people's models. It doesn't really apply to worlds and shit. Yeah. But... Uh, yes, it does. It uh, my dis... it applies to like the qual. Well, actually, maybe maybe not actually. Never my mind. No, it doesn't. Dude. Dude. Probably I was not. About to say. There's no yeah, I, I just thought about it. Yeah, you know, it's not. <laughs> I, I have... Yeah, no, the safety settings only apply to people's avatars, it's yeah, not the actual I world. I have anti-aliasing off. I have limited bone usage now, and I have poor displayed performance. I've also turned off custom okay. animations, Oof. shaders, and user icons. Oh, this world has its own music! That's crazy! Uh, I, I... Yeah, <laughs> did you not know that? <laughs> it it's, it's always had its own music. <laughs> I ripped my volume off! No! I, Why? I, oh my God, you're I, I actually, I <laughs> actually I turned it off. Game, so my world volume's usually off. I turned it off because I didn't you're want dumb. to get DMCA'd. Oh yeah, yeah it is there, DMCA'ble actually. music. Oh, that's that's like high key good tone setting music too. Fuck! God damn it! <laughs> oh, shit, <laughs> sucks. I'll have to. Oh, I'm gonna have to like send him a couple of the like like a lot of the playlist music that I play, so he can. I'll probably put it in the world and people won't have to worry about DMC and shit like that. That's true. Uh, I use fucking copyright free shit for when I'm doing D&D sessions and other servers as well. Yeah, so. exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But I... I believe it was fun. It's nice role play with y'all. Y'all all are great and stuff. Yeah. Still can't believe you didn't know that I was mm. fucking Mori until like literally <laughs> an hour. Or no, yeah, I did not know you were fucking. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so funny to me, dude. The voices aren't that similar, dude. The voices are not that similar yeah, when I'm in no, role play. I mean, I, yeah. When I'm in role play, I'm playing the character, so I don't like really just I don't Shit. pay attention yeah, don't to how really the voice sounds to like to another person. Uh, <laughs> it's just really funny to me. I'm, I'm glad to hear that my voices are that off. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I I still wish I could do great. I still wish I could do a more feminine voice. Dude, they're they're hard though. Feminine voices are hard as shit. Feminine they're voices are hard. harder. I am as going. A male. Raven's voice is slowly. Raven's voice is slowly changing. Like as well as, as his his adult his attitude and his voice is slowly changing, because I used to talk to him like I talk in real life, just like a lot calmer and like you know apologetic. He's just getting deeper, and just fucking more stoic-esque, and just not caring. Yeah. 
I, I I'm mean, trying. I'm trying to make for the better or worse. I'm. I'm basically. <laughs> mm-hmm. I've been making my voice more uh, soft spoken and uh, uh, a little bit higher. It works the best as I can. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It works. It works for what you're doing. Yeah. No, nah, feminine voices are. I, I think the closest thing to mm-hmm. a feminine voice I did was probably for Glass back in day. That like that shit's hard as fuck. All right, I, I can uh, do one pretty well apparently. I I know because he's a fucking twink. <laughs> <laughs> Orion oh, left fucking pretty early. I feel like he did. Oh yeah, no, he usually does. What that. Was... That's not the first. Fair time. enough. What was what was uh his character's problem? Were they just like not having um, a good day, or was that, like an in character thing? I I don't actually know. So Sinar's a weird character to me because I don't really know what the situation is with them. Because like from my understanding, Orion was talking them up to be a potential leader for the group. He was gonna be, be like the glue in between the group but like i'm not sure if it's because he seems like a bit of a fucking ass (laughs) yeah like i'm gonna be honest he seems like he's fucking overconfident he's ignorant for like potential threats the dude was literally talking about trying to fucking threaten the tree and shit to like bait a response from it he he was smacking the tree (laughs) oh my fucking god this guy fucking christ he had Fucking <laughs> Raven is like he, he Raven was like okay he's just he I, he's cool I guess from that to like they had an argument about the tree not being alive and and like Raven was just like okay <laughs> so he went from not caring to just not giving a fuck about him. I yeah, I so Mori went from having decent respect for their intelligence mm-hmm. to you are literally going to get us killed so if you impede the group yeah, at all I'm cause... throwing you under the bus and killing you instantly. <laughs> Cause, like, yeah, it was like, what are you? <laughs> it's like, I mean, I guess, but dude, you know, like, the, the, I the tree is obviously priority, glowing. His current priority like, is literally just keep the people that I need to protect alive, and if one person is getting in the way of that, <laughs> like, Raven, no is, Raven, just, Raven is Raven. Raven is just trying to keep the peace and is here to like protect if anything goes down. I am, He's more just like, a, hey, let's calm down and maybe not do this type of thing. I is just wholesome. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> Aya is just wholesome. Yeah, With a bit of not big brain. Got you. Got you, got you. Alright. She is Feywild. Enjoy the rest of your night, guy. Like, I'm gonna fucking uh, show up. Uh, this is the sign. Friend, I'm, I feel like this is Feywild. Have ever seen it. Mm, I think I have. I think I have. Probably. Yeah. I have like, seen. He's been around for a little bit. Yeah. I've seen that model. Yeah, mm-hmm. I, I, it's not entirely, it's not at all mine, I got this from Booth, but I did make some modifications I do it, believe so. I, I do believe I, I saw believe. that, uh, on a Hat Kid stream. I do believe. I do believe. Yeah, no, I, I've swung by them a couple of times. Not too many times, but a couple of times. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I, I think, I and think I'll, dude used to look like... I'll, I think I will try and stream more often for, uh, VR chat. Fuck yeah. Uh. That is very useful, if I'm being honest, like, streaming your shit is... Going to be a big help. Yeah. Yeah, this was the original. Oh, cool. This guy's cool looking. Before, oh. before he like shrunk. <laughs> the... Before he got fucking cursed by his god and literally got shrunk. <laughs> the only thing I can say is like I need to figure out how to increase my frames. Do I? Wait. Yeah, that that would be a good call. Oh, I forgot I have the kettle mm-hmm. in this model. Oh no. Oh god. I'm actually. Yeah, no. I used to write down book. lore for establishments. I'm actually getting and stuff. a static. Uh, mm. 20 through 30 right now without it dropping below. Very good. Are you still st- streaming? I am still streaming. Yeah. I, ah, I don't yeah. like, I don't like those. No, no, don't be hitting you with the syringe. Come on. I fucking I'm gonna hate heal syringes. you, bro. Don't worry about no, it. There's a medic bag here. I, I really <laughs> fucking hate them so goddamn bad. Oh, God. I hate everything about syringes Actually, and everything they stand you, for. Uh, out of morbid curiosity, because I haven't used this model like Sen 3.0 even came out. Um, there right. was an animation I made. I'm sorry if this is lagging anybody, by the way, but there's an animation I made. It's good. Uh, for this. Do you see this little ball? Nope. Oh, yeah, I do see it, no, yeah. So, can you go I do see over it. there and mm-hmm. try to click on it? Click on it? Ah, oh, hello, seat. No, the seat's gone. The seat's gone? Mm-hmm. I see the seat, I see the seat thing. But it, yeah, it broke. They broke, they broke how yeah, yeah, yeah. seats work now, so you may need to yeah, fix I was, it. I was, about to say it's been a while since i've used it because like i I fucking i I literally made this like two years ago um but it it used to be able to pick people up and i'm not sure if you can see this animation but uh Mm -hmm. (laughs) you can throw it yeah oh you can throw it yeah off right now (laughs) 
Very cool. Oh uh, yeah, no yeah. good call though. If you if you enjoy your frame rate, that'll do it. Yeah. But I'm gonna mm -hmm. get off to charge my stuff. I'm probably gonna get back on Darkest Dungeon though, cause memes. And I'm Fair enough. Going yeah, I'm gonna fucking. I'm gonna join a friend. So I'm gonna end the test stream here and then probably head off okay. and do something else. God, Before you, you end the stream. <laughs> <laughs> no, stop. <that>. TOS. <laughs> canceled, canceled. <laughs> Alright, I'll see ya. Alright, see ya. Have fun. For anyone who joined, if you didn't hear, I will try to do this more often. Uh, I apologize for the low frame rate, but there's. Hey, yo, fuck Bernard. I'm a homie. Hey, Bernard. There's nothing I can do about that, so if you guys can handle that, I will try and do more of this. So I will try and eventually fix the frame rate. I will also try and get myself some a VR headset as well. I am working on getting that myself. That is a goal for me right now is to get a VR headset because doing things without it is a pain. So, see you guys Sunday.